Strong arm, Abby. I do. Yeah, we're going to make butternut squash soup. So first we have to cut them and bake them. Yeah. And then I'll split it in two. So this is the hard, only hard part about it. Because otherwise it's, a, it's so easy. You just put them face down on a tray. On a nonstick tray. And you bake them for in... Um, 375 oven, which I've just turned on for about half an hour until you can press it and it feels soft, mm -hmm. but not till it's too soft, you know, just till it's soft. Half a medium onion. On the top shelf? On the top. Mm -hmm. Do we have to time it? You're baking, the, you're baking the squash? Yeah. yeah. And the squash are done baking. Ready for soup to those until they are soft. They're a little, you can tell that they're a little soft. And then just take a, a spoon and and just scoop it out. Scoop it out. Now actually I guess we could have done the skin with it, but I never do because oh. I don't want pieces of skin floating around. You want it to be um, a creamy looking soup. The soup is so good. Butternut squash, or these are three small. And it makes a, quite a nice pot of soup, a big soup pot. So, we're gonna uh, put this into the blender and probably in batches of two, two batches. Yes, so, so far we've pureed the squash and put it, each time we've added a half a cup of water to get it to puree properly. Because otherwise it's been too dry. Then now we have it in here. We're going to add a quart of water to start with. I don't actually have a recipe for this, but we want a certain consistency. And this, I think, has already been open. All right, we're going to have a couple cups of this anyway. It's oat milk, but you could use um, real milk. You could use. You could use uh, almond milk, uh, soy milk, you could use soy milk. We're doing a tablespoon of onion powder. And did you guys add more water? We just added yes. another cup of water. A cup of water would have brought it to five cups. Well, no, one we put in with the squash. Another one, this is already now six cups of water. Two cups of the other. Taste two squash. Now we're going to just going to give it a little sprinkle of the so we're cooking the soup a little bit. I don't think we put salt in. We didn't put salt. Two. You're adding down right. Uh, this much because it's such a big pot. You can't, you have to add it with water because otherwise it will um, lump up. See how I understand. You're adding brown rice flour with water. It's like a paste to thicken me. Alright, and I'm just going to stir it in like this. This is how I, I thicken anything I want to do. And, and now we're going to add a quarter cup of maple syrup. Was my mystical pen who plays on? As soon as it comes to a boil, we turn it down on low. Okay.